welcome back to Drawing for Kids. To start off, let's go over what material you'll need. You'll need some Crayola markers, which you can use any color markers that you like. Next, you also need some paper. In addition to that, you'll need some black markers, such as Sharpies. Okay, so as I'm going along, I'll go step by step on how to draw this character, but I really like to invite you to add your own little twist to it to make it your own. There's no pressure to necessarily draw exactly what I have, but let's use that as a guidance to see what we can come up with. As always, remember to add in a little bit of your imagination to make it your own. You can do this drawing with your family and friends, and at the end of it, maybe check out how everybody's drawing turn out at the very end. Are you ready? So, we're gonna get started. For the drawing that I'm drawing today, it's actually based on a Disney princess. And the Disney princess I've done before, but I thought I'd do a different version of it. She likes to swim, can you guess? which princess it is you may have guessed it by now that's right it is ariel the little mermaid so let's get started so for this drawing we're actually doing a side profile ariel so we're not looking straight on in the front looking at her face so we're only going to look at her side and that means we're only going to draw one of her eye because her other eyes on the other side of her face you can't really see it here is her top of her eye and we're drawing some eyelashes and then I'm also going to draw in her eye. This is like a slit, but I'm coloring the pupil black. Of course, you can add an expression for Ariel using a red marker for her lips later on. But for now, I'm going to draw her ear on the side. And then I'm also going to draw in her wavy red hair. That's going to be very flowy because she's swimming underwater and like her hair is just really flowing nicely behind her see that even her hair I'm doing kind of like curvy wavy lines and her bangs would just hang on the side of her head so that's her hair and then I'm gonna draw in the back of her head with her hair just flowing behind you can see no big angles because I'm looking for the hair to be flowy and just curvy wave lines now we're done with Ariel's head next I'm gonna draw in her arms you can see this is like a mini version of Ariel, almost like a baby Ariel. And then we have her seashells in the front, just two small circles. And then she has her other hand that's going to extend out because I'm actually going to draw in flounder, Ariel's fish. Flounder, it's apparently a flatfish or like a, one of the species of flatfish. So here you can see I'm drawing in the mermaid tail for Ariel, except I missed the flippers, so I have to do that for her fins at the end. And there you go. Now I've done like most of Ariel, of course. I mentioned I was going to draw in Ariel's friend, Flounder. So here is Flounder. I'm also going to do a side profile of Flounder, so not straight in the face, just from the side. So that means I only see one of Flounder's eye on one side of the head. Here's the little hands of Flounder, the fins. And then I also need to draw in like the fins for the tail. And I remember Flounder has like these patterns, these blue patterns on it, on its back and also its tail. So I need to draw that in at least color in later you can see if you like can make little mermaid Mer ariel herself a little bit bigger in your version of the drawing i also love telling stories of my artwork because it helps me think of like what accessories to add on or what backgrounds to draw so for you you can have ariel maybe they're like searching for hidden treasures or gems in like a lost sunken ship in the background or maybe they're having a seaweed festival <laughs> where there's like all types of seaweeds in the back so you can use your ideas to add in a background later on i'm just using my red marker to color in most of Ariel's hair. I try my best to color within the lines and just making sure I don't have white space. Certainly try my best. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I really enjoy the process of drawing and coloring as well. 
Before I start drawing, I usually like to line up all the markers of colors that I plan on using. It's kind of like cooking. When you're cooking, you want to get all your ingredients ready before starting cooking. So for drawing, I like to get all my materials ready, including the colors. So for this drawing, I know I need some yellow, as you can see here, for flounder. I need some red for her hair. And I probably need some apricot, like light apricot color for Ariel's skin, and then a color for her tail, as well as for her seashells. Here's my light apricot that I'm going to use to color in her belly, as well as her face. Feel free to use your own color scheme, so your own color combination that you would like. So for example, if you want Ariel to have a purple tail, go for it! Or maybe she has a rainbow tail. So. I think planning ahead, thinking of what color combination you would like and have those colors ready will be really helpful for you in your drawing. Here is my blue color that I'm going to use to color in the fins for flounder. And next I'll of course need to finish up the tail for Ariel as well as the seashell on Ariel. Next, I'm going to grab a little bit of purple or lilac color to color in the seashell. And of course, I need to color in her tail, which I think I have a turquoise that I can use. For her fins at the end for her tail, probably going to do more of like a pattern rather than coloring it solid. Feel free if you would like to do different types of pattern for Ariel's tail as well. Using the same color marker, I think I'll draw in some like air bubbles because I think that will make the drawing more realistic. As they're talking to each other, there's air bubbles that are coming out. So I'm using the same color as what I'm using for Ariel's tail. You can also use different color bubbles as well. Maybe rainbow bubbles? I don't know. So this green, I'm using the color in some details for her tail, but feel free if you want to use that same green to draw in some seaweed in the background. For the red markers, I'm going to add in some stray hair for Ariel that's flowing beside her as she's like swimming in the water and just talking to flounder. You can see those loose hair are just very smooth lines. Very curvy lines, and I'm using the same red color to draw in the lips for Ariel. She's smiling, and she's talking to Flounder, and I also added in a little bit of blush on her face using this red marker. Well, I think I'm wrap up about here. This is my drawing of Ariel from The Little Mermaid along with Flounder. Here's a closer look. Looks pretty cute, right? I hope you enjoy the step-by-step -step drawing of Ariel from The Little Mermaid along with Flounder. If you like these type of videos, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I will see you next time. Stay safe and stay creative everyone. Bye for now!